my dear friends welcome you all to this program on plrt past life regression therapy i am very delighted to present this work and uh, we all have many myths and misconceptions about karma we keep hearing this word about karma we all call the, this india as karma bhumi today let us know about the science of reincarnation love karma how it is going to help us in our own evolution man has been evolving through millions and millions of years basically a man is a discoverer man wants to find out invent things being more creative and we all journeyed through this billions of years we were like a stone man cave man trying to adapt ourselves to the surroundings we gone through lot of survival issues there so many fears that gripped us and now we have come to the state where there is a technology where we could go to the moon where we have computers internet we are very sophisticated now we have all all through this time immemorial immemorial and now we are in the crossroads again what next we have all that what we call technology all the instruments wonderful machines but still there is something incompleteness vacuum void inside all of us this void only can be healed filled or transformed into the fullness abundance by spiritual science so we all are in a quest quest to know our own self who am i what is what is my purpose of life am i the buddhist monk thousands of years back who uh, walked on this planet earth am i that japanese samurai am i the king am i the the playboy in one of my past lives who am i truly what is my real face we all want to know about this the simple question who am i past life regression is a really a wonderful tool to peel the layers of these identities i must tell you a a joke that i heard japanese prime minister is about to visit white house and uh, he was trained in little bit english so his uh, teacher in english said whenever you meet people you tell them you ask them how are you hello and how are you and then when they say i am fine you say me too this is what this japanese prime minister was trained in the english little lessons he went there to white house there he met bill clinton and uh, he asked uh, how are you instead of uh, how are you he forgotten how are you he asked him 
who are you? It's a good question. Bill Clinton said, I am the husband of Hillary Clinton. He immediately said, me too. <laughs> Actually, that's a good question we all can ask each other. Who are you? It begins the quest. Like onion has many layers, outer identities, outer layers. When you start peeling these outer layers, you will find fresh layers and inside deep inside this onion we will find that true identity, our real self. We are so much identified with the outer life, the physical life, the body, the mind, emotions, but we know in deeper part of us that it's all outer identities. What is my true identity? This body dies, my mind changes, my emotional uh, feelings will change, by evening I will be sad, by night I will be again happy. We keep having the swing of emotions, but what is that unchanging within us? What is that true identity? This is a really a very important question for entire mankind. We do not know who we are. Only when we know who we are, then there is a possibility to live happily by connecting to outer identities which are constantly changing. We are gripped with the fear. We do not know what to do. There are so many survival issues that we go through. It's the story of every man and every woman. What is the purpose of life? Why am I born? Why am I living here? What is my meaning of my life? We are doing something else here. We are not doing what we want to do. When we know about ourselves, we know about the meaning of our life, why we have come back here to this earth. Today we address to these simple questions. Please be open-minded. As I narrate, as I show these visuals, I would like you to really go into your own self and contemplate, reflect about these questions. Questions will begin the, uh, actually the whole journey, the quest. Unless uh, we ask these questions, there is no answer that we can find. And we have some other questions also. What happens after death? We all know that whatever is created here in this physical plane is going to be you know, dying. We have seen death around us from our childhood to so far. And for a few days we think about this. What's happening to this person who is dying? Where do we go? Is there a soul? Do we survive the death? Do we exist even after death? All religions, spiritual traditions, they are addressing to this most fundamental question about what happens after death. We need to really reflect on this. We need to find out the answer from our own personal experience. Whatever religious teachers, spiritualists, enlightened souls, they told that there is soul, there is life after death, but unless we have our own personal experience of the soul, we will not be able to believe it. It will be just like a knowledge that we are hearing. We don't know whether it is real or it is false. Another simple question we all have is, do we come back here to this earth? Have we lived before? Is reincarnation true? 